Okay, now let's talk about the typical use case with POP3. That is a face and or a head scan. And note that under accuracy, you can choose from between high standard accuracy and high speed. And the difference is not only the, the accuracy will be different, but also is the high speed is very good for scanning hair. Uh, I'll show you about, I'll show you later. So first, let me show you how to scan a face. So to scan a face, I know, Travis, I'd say, because we don't need to scan the back of your mm. head and under high accuracy, and high accuracy is not really good at scanning the, the feature like hair. Why? I'll show you. you, you will see that in a minute. So my recommendation is if you want, just simply do a face scan, then choose high or standard accuracy and use a turntable or don't use a turntable, you just move manually around his face. Okay, and also uh, you can open your eyes, but it might be tricky to hold it right there without moving a muscle. So if you're not okay with that, it's better to close your eyes and also maybe smiling with your teeth out is not a, a good idea because mm -hmm. it's like teeth is kind of a reflective, you have your slava on it, but also it's very hard to keep the smiling in the same position like that, okay? Well, I'm oh. gonna close my eyes then. Sure. And also, if you have earrings, it's better to take them off because if it's a highly reflective one, it's gonna end up a hole in your 3D model. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. One more thing is just to move your hand steady and slowly for the best performance. Okay, very nice. It's a beautiful face skin. And Travis, could you turn on the turntable? I'm just doing a quick demonstration on that. It's not saying that you cannot scan hair completely with high accuracy, just tricky. Look. That's because the hair is, the structure is too deep. It absorbs lights a lot. So as you can see, when I'm getting to his back head, it's not that easy to capture all of it. But if you're patient enough and you can move it very slowly so that you might can scan the full head with the hair under high accuracy or standard accuracy mode. Okay, so that's how it looks like under, uh, under high accuracy. And now let me show you under high speed. And your experience is gonna be totally different. Okay, Travis, mm -hmm. let's go. And note that under high speed, the scanning distance is uh, slightly bigger. Okay, go. See, the, the hair has no problem in creating the, by capturing by the scanner and creating the point clouds, right? But of course, uh, you're, as you already know, the high speed has the lowest accuracy. So if you are, if you need absolute accuracy, I would say you always go with the, the high accuracy. Okay, almost there. So one more turn, we should be ready to go. Okay, I see I've created some overlap right here, but I think it will be fixed by the, in the editing process, the software will fix that for us. Don't worry if you have an overlapping right here, even severely like I'm doing it right now. Let's see. See, the software has fixed for us, even though I have a super big overlap. Look, you, are, you almost have 
like three nodes, right? But after fused, it'll fix the, the overlapping problem for us and eventually mesh will be a perfect head scan.